Men have read it. What was the best thing a woman has ever said to you? I did not give birth you and we might not match on a DNA test. But you are my son no matter what anybody says. Said by my best friend's mum. She has been like a mother to me all my life taking care of me while my mother's alcoholism escalated over the years. I love her by all my heart and when she said it I just started crying. I never doubted her caring but having the verbal confirmation was just so touching. I graduated college 10 years ago. I still think about the time someone told me 8 a.m. classes suck less with me there. When my wife was dying of cancer. She had one of those bitter evenings where she lashed out at how unfair for her to be fighting for. Her life at age 39. She was lashing out at how unfair for her children to grow up without her and for her to miss. Seeing the adults they would become. She shared how every single moment of every day was full of struggle. Pain. And fatigue and she was bitter and angry about it. I told her something I'd felt ever since she got sick. That I wished cancer took me instead. She looked at me through her bitterness and pain and said, I would never want this pain to happen to you. That was the most selfless, loving thing I've ever heard. And it helped me so much as I dealt with survivor's guilt after she died. Edit. Holy crap. Thank you all for your kind words and for the awards. This conversation happened nine years ago when our youngest was four. He's 13 now and will be the best man in my wedding this Saturday. We were lucky enough to find someone who loved our little mess and after six years of dating, I finally proposed. I feel confident my late wife would approve of where we are now and by her telling me it was okay to live on. I was able to do that. Also, here's a PSA. If you have friends and family who are widowed, please make yourself present in their lives. Widowhood is isolating. Many recent widows and widowers are in no place to reach out for help. Grief is messy. Their lives are sloppy, especially if they are raising children. So reach out to them and let them know that, while you may not understand what they're going through, they aren't alone and they can't push you away. My girlfriend in college once gave a Valentine's Day card. In it, it said, I'm glad I met you. Seems a bit unromantic, maybe. But this gal was always awkward at expressing herself. I was too. A lot of people say, I love you and don't mean it. Sometimes they think they mean it. But when she wrote, I'm glad I met you. I knew she meant it. Like, she really meant it. She was all nervous to give me the card too. I thought it was very sweet. And I couldn't get the card out of my head for weeks. You're an amazing father. And I know you'll continue to be one. My wife just before cancer claimed her life. A friend told me she preferred how I looked bald rather than when I had a ton of hair and that I was a great looking bald guy. This meant so much as I am bald due to alopecia areata and legit used to have thick flowing locks. So it was a hard process choosing to shave my head that first time. Random girl from work told me I looked good and asked me what I was doing to lose weight. I had never ever gotten a compliment like that before and it felt good. Made me more motivated to keep on track. That I make her happy. This is the highest value for me folded hands. My wife and I have been together 16 years. Married for 9. Father-in-law flew in from out of state to visit and rented a minivan for us all to go do things. While he was in town. We were on the road and I texted my wife something about his driving and she texted back, I feel like at this point I just hate anyone driving who isn't you. I don't know why that was so impactful. But something about that statement really validated my existence. A girl in my class said, 
you're a sweet, adorable and a nice person. Also my best friend's mom. We weren't that close back then. Said that I'm a good man and she trusts me with her daughter's life. She said that if she had a son, she would have wanted him to be like me. What her mom told me has had an effect on me and I actually teared up a little on hearing it. My mom never said she was proud of me. A girl complimented my outfit about six years ago and I still remember it vividly. I was in Nashville for a work conference and was walking back to the hotel one evening. A couple of women were sitting on some steps across the street from me when one of them yelled, Hey white boy! Quote. I stopped and turned towards them. Then she yelled again, You fine as fuck! I thanked them. Then immediately called my wife to tell her I'm officially fine as fuck. My sister's cute friend said I looked handsome at my sister's wedding. Been riding that high for almost six years now. My girlfriend. Now wife. And I had both gone through some pretty hard times before we met. On our first anniversary. She wrote a poem for me on a thin strip of paper. You. All and. Only. You. No one. Else. Will do. I fell, and fell, and fell, and fell, until, the night, we met, I flew, I kept the strip in my coat pocket for six years and pulled it out last year at our wedding as a, surprise, in truth, she was the one who saved me open hands.